During almost a decade since I last played Need for Speed Underground, I became mostly an RPG-oriented gamer and thought that nothing can bring me back to racing genre at all. I tried more than 10 different racing titles since that days, but nothing was able to hook me more than for a day. But recently, I absolutely accidentally stumbled upon a game I somehow missed a year and a half ago, and now I want you guys to be prevented from making the same mistake, because this game is something amazing. It is such type of game that hooks your attention from the very first minutes, not caring about what game types you are playing. Once you press that gas pedal, there is no way back, and this game is called Redout. Redout is a representative of AG racing genre, or simply said futuristic racing, inspired by such legendary games like F-Zero and Wipeout that most of us played on Nintendo and old PlayStation and Sega consoles. But while humbly keeping the terms of AG racing canon, Redout, I will be not afraid to say that, is next-gen and absolutely revolutionary. What makes it so is actually a very simple combination. Developers retain the classic AG racing atmosphere, added amazing graphics made on monstrous Unreal Engine 4, insanely realistic physics, super sensitive and unbelievably responsive controls, greatly fitting techno music and to be sure you really never get bored, spice the gameplay with more than 100 events, tons of your hover cars upgrades and power-ups and more than 10 different race types, from classic race or time run up to survival mode where racing track is worn by mines and boss challenge races. This game has maybe one of the most realistic physics I ever saw in racing games. Each turn, braking and acceleration, each your tiniest drift applies a coding force to your car. During the couple of first races, I was collecting literally each raw turn and was so frustrated and angry on myself and on the game, just to realize 5 minutes later, I was silly enough to start playing new game from a quick race instead of instructing one. The Sinus Redout offers a unique feature in controlling your hover car. Besides usual turns, brake and acceleration, your ship can strafe, even in mid-air, meaning the microcontrol of your car mass and force that is applied to it. Together with regular steering, this control system gives you such an immersive controlling feeling that car physics is starting literally flowing through you. And of course, it helps you to pass even the hardest turns without crashing. This system also greatly improves the futuristic feeling of constant high speed, because using both of these controls wisely, you soon realize that one of the main readout rules before the hard turn is not to press the brake pedal, but dive into the turn, precisely controlling your ship without slowing down. Another thing that game is gloriously and defiantly challenging is gravitation itself. Many planets you will race on have such a ridiculously unusual tracks that you often will fly across huge abysses, shorting your way flying over the turns using springboards and so on. Sometimes you can even find yourself entering the portal and second after flying over the planet itself almost in open space, returning back to the planetary part of the track by entering another portal. This said, you can strafe not only sideways, but also tilt your car up and down in mid-air as well to reach maximum ergonomics and minimum car damage when landing. But as I said already, gameplay is not only technically polished, but also variety itself. You can choose from wide amount of ship models, and each model has 4 classes that you can unlock while leveling up. Besides improving the stats of the hover car itself, there are plenty of active and passive power-ups for you to choose, depending on your playstyle. You like being safe? Install additional magnetic grip, which will give a bonus balance to your car strafes. You are a risky challenger, install energy drainer that will suck energy from opponents you are passing by, slowing them down and increasing your own speed temporarily. Combining these power-ups, you can build your own unique playstyle and car and greatly add to the game replayability. There are also 11 race types, time attack, a classic time race without opponents, survival races with no opponents but obstacles and mines on the track, classic race with opponents, last man standing, 
where the last competitor each turn is eliminated. Boss challenge races with unpredictable portals and long track and variations of these race types with different hardcore conditions for experienced players. Game also supports multiplayer and VR support for even more challenging fun. Graphics is adding to all previously named details, showing you absolutely fantastic surreal and sometimes I would say even phantasmagoric landscapes and tracks design accompanied by simply unmatchable aesthetics and great shaders and greatly fitting techno soundtrack on top of that. Besides that, the game is greatly optimized as well. My GTX 980 was able to maintain stable 60 FPS at 4K resolution and the only reason I uploaded this video in 2K is just because my video card renders 4K resolution insanely long. Well, just take a look on this. It is really hard to believe this completely AAA quality game, huge in size and amazing in quality, was done by an indie studio breathtakingly beautiful, furiously fast, easy to learn and hard to master at the same time, with a great replayability, Redoubt is definitely one of the best, if not the best AG racing games ever released during the last decade. It will fly you to the moon and back and in many other corners of galaxy on the lighting speed with greatly implemented physics. But no game is perfect and Redoubt has its own drawback as well, you simply can't stop playing. Thanks for watching folks and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. See you in the next review. Simitar Gaming here, signing out.